Over 33 million people have all had their say. The British people have voted to leave the European Union. Ah, oh, shit. Happy New Year, everyone! 2016 has been one strange year. Let's take a moment to look back at all that's happened in the international service over the past 12 months. The year started off with Ian, who we sent out to find out more about the church redevelopment plans Ian Man needs a new church. Looks pretty sturdy to me. Exactly, too sturdy. His elderly children have problems going in and around the church. Inaccessibility and rising maintenance costs were just some of the major factors that called for redeveloping the church. In December, the church submitted the final plans to Camden Council, but it's been a bit of a hold up. They want to retain the Birkenhead Street facade due to heritage reasons, so the church is still waiting for approval. But the news we've all been dreading. You just see him, no? Mr. Chow will just have to wait a little bit longer for his crispy pork. Some of us went to visit Paul and Marie, our previous deacon and his wife, in the Isle of Wight last year. Yorbun was there to give us a guide. It's a dangerous place, so we've got to lock up all our windows and stuff. We'll, we'll leave a bit. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Disneyland equivalent of Isle of Wight. So, uh, I messed up sound. So, this is needles. Um, those four white things. Mm, we see some dogs. And we're off again. In July, we took a trip down to Westminster to witness Linda being officially ordained as a deacon by the Methodist Church. Father, send the Holy Spirit upon Linda for the office and work of a deacon in your church. Amen. Congratulations, Linda! King's Cross is blessed to have you here with us, and we look forward to serving with you in 2017. And thanks to Yovan for getting us this all-important shot. Some of us went to Momentum, an outdoor Christian festival, a bit like Glastonbury. It was a week of camping and fellowship with other students and people in their 20s and 30s. It was live worship and workshops with a range of speakers. We set up our own campsite and everything, we had our own cardboard furniture and even helped smoke down our neighbour's tent. In September, we had a new intern join our team. Welcome, Sally. Happy to have you on board. About time someone shared the workload that I've been carrying over the past year. We finally appointed a new steward to represent the International Service at the Church Council meetings. After a brief election campaign which lasted 15 minutes, Yobon, the sole candidate, was elected unanimously as the International Service Steward. Stuart Yobon quickly dismissed allegations of vote rigging, releasing his statement saying, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't know I was being nominated. Yes, yes we can. Good luck to Yobon, and we wish him a productive year as he represents the international service. <laughs> Chloe showed us all the importance of youth ministry when she went to Fred Camp. On the topic of youth ministry, the international service has been making a few changes to this service this year. There's been a refocus on student ministry and a whole lot of discussion about the British-born Chinese youth group. If only we knew what we were doing. <laughs> Linda finally led me out of the house as we rounded up 2016 with a day away at the Kairos Centre. A great time to reflect on our lives and also gain insight into the nativity story through the animals. Let's say it was brilliant. <laughs> and that's 2016. Now come on people, we need more footage for next year. Everyone take out your phones and record everything from now on. And I mean everything. If we didn't rip things from YouTube, we wouldn't have had anything to cut this together with. I've been Charlie and this was your 2016 refresh. See you later, alligator. <laughs>